<laughs> Ever get the feeling you've been cheated? Oh, for crying out. You know what your problem is, huh? You're so goddamn bored, you gotta invent things to bitch about. You haven't got a single thing on this earth to do except for your hair. Yeah, your closet was fine. You just needed something to take up your useless, empty, nail polishing, toe polishing, rich bitch, sun tanning day. <laughs> Me. This 80s screwball romantic comedy is a richest of rags romance tale of a pampered and pretentious yacht owning socialite and a local carpenter who's summoned for emergency repairs, a shoe closet. The ne never satisfied socialite refuses to pay for work done and throws the carpenter overboard. When the socialite later that evening also accidentally falls overboard, she gets a bad case of amnesia. Retribution and deceit are the order of the day. The elite socialite will learn what life is like as a wife and mother in a family of deplorables. And so, the fun begins. Directed by New Yorker Gary Marshall, who's best known for creating Happy Days with his work in television. He also has had a great success in movie making, most notably Pretty Woman. I also really loved The Flamingo Kid, a very underrated film. Written by Leslie Dixon, a screenwriter and film producer. She's worked on numerous films, including Outrageous Fortune, Mrs. Doubtfire, Thomas Crown Affair, and Gone Girl. Starring real-life couple Goldie Horn and Kurt Russell, this may well explain the great chemistry they have on screen. Both are great here. I'm not much of a rom-com fan, but every now and then, one of them transcends the genre. After recently returning from holiday, the summer house where we were staying at didn't have great Wi-Fi. This led me to buy a few second-hand DVDs for next to no money. One of the purchases was Overboard. Not an action movie, but I had a fond memory of watching this as a kid. So after a hard day at the beach, we popped on this format known as DVD, and we were not disappointed. First and foremost, this film is a joy to watch. It's just fun in the way Hollywood has really had a hard time with producing recently. The premise of the film is certainly suspect, but it's just a plot device to tell an enjoyable story. This is really a family movie for men, women and children. What is really refreshing about this film is all are portrayed as doing good and bad things. There is actually nuance to the characters. My better half really enjoyed this movie, which she really does with my choice of film, and the kids loved it too. There were no issues or references they didn't get, or it was too slow, which can be an issue with older movies. What I found interesting in the story is how its positive message is one we can learn from today. On the one side we have the super elite living in their bubble, in this case it's a luxury yacht. On the other we have a deplorable, either is ultimately the good guy or the bad guy. They're just different, live in a world where they both coexist. And up until recently we all did, but in today's hyper politicized times we've been driven further and further apart. How we end up in our echo chambers is beside the point, but what we see in this film is a character who through chance slips the shackles of her world and sees the good in a world she knows almost nothing about. A toxic straight white male, possibly the worst thing you can be in America today. It's just a man trying to get by and support his family as best he can. This film highlights the needs of fathers and mothers, because raising families is incredibly hard work. The fact that this is a message that Hollywood is no longer telling, it says a lot. Ultimately, instead of pushing critical race theory on children, they would be better served by watching Overboard instead. There are incredible life lessons hidden beneath the surface of this underrated classic. On the manly meter, it gets a five, because looking after your family is as manly as it gets. See, most of us go through life with blinders on, madam knowing only that one little station to which we were born. But now you, madam, on the other hand, have had the rare privilege of escaping your bonds for just a spell. <laughs>